what we've got here is a very rare ASRock B150M Combo G motherboard which takes a um, Intel Series 6 and 7th gen processor and it also supports either DDR3 memory two slots here or two slots of DDR4 memory so what we'll do is compare the speed difference as an apples to apples comparison using the same chip, same board, just different memory on this. Just gonna put some thermal paste on this before mounting the heatsink. Using an ID cooling SC214XT, which is kind of overkill but works with lots of different sockets. This room to put the memory on. Bring memory in. Just gonna make sure it works first before going on to testing the memory speeds. Up. Which one's power? This one. This one's spinning here. And um, we've got something on the screen. wait for it to boot up, there we go, let's come up into the BIOS and we've got 4 gig Core i3 6100 4 gig DDR4 memory so there we go, I just need to get the um, memory testing USB that I've got and then we can start testing the memory speeds. Also check hardware monitor, check temperature, CPU temp 25. It's all looking good. We're gonna be using DDR3 memory here. That is a, a matched pair. Although one's from Lenovo, one's from Dell. Um, PC 12800. And we're also going to be using some Corsair Vengeance DDR4 memory that runs at 3600. And we'll compare them in single channel and dual channel for both DDR3 and DDR4. This is single channel DDR3 running at 9458 megabytes per second. This is DDR3 running in dual channel mode, giving us 18 gigabytes per second. This is a single channel DDR4 memory. I'm getting 11 gigabytes per second. And this is DDR4 again, running in dual channel. And we're getting 
20 gigabytes per second. We've now set the memory speed to 1600 to match the DDR3 RAM speed. Uh, we're in dual channel and we're getting 17.5 gigabytes per second. So it looks like you will get faster memory throughput using DDR4 if you are able to run those at a faster speed than the DDR3 memory. If you run it at the same speed as the DDR3 memory then it looks like you don't actually get any benefit in more speed. There we go, I think um, that answers the question. Which is faster DDR3 or DDR4? It's DDR4 if you can run it at faster speeds than DDR3. The other thing worth noting is that running a system in single channel mode is definitely a bad idea. For example, if you go from dual channel DDR3 to single channel DDR4, you're going to end up with a slower memory throughput and a slower system. So always go for dual channel memory. In fact, that is probably the number one thing you can do to upgrade your system. Um, if you're in single channel, probably the cheapest hardware upgrade you can do to improve the performance of your system. Go from single channel to dual channel. Um, yeah, that will definitely improve the performance of your system. Now we're getting 20 gigabytes per second dual channel DDR3 memory with the memory running at 1800 and that's almost matching the speeds of DDR4 memory. Put all this information on the screen so you can have a look yourselves um, to see all the difference in speed. It may not be possible on your system to increase the speed of your memory. Um, or your memory might not run at the higher speeds, but you seem to be doing okay with this memory here. And um, gives us a little boost in performance. Giving very similar levels of performance to DDR4 memory. These are the DDR3 settings, just for reference, running at 1866. And these are the DDR4 memory settings, as you can see. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.